Hello everyone, QC Runner back here. Um, change of plans for this video. My initial plan was to give you guys, let's turn this volume down a little bit. Initial plan was to give you guys an introductory, introductory video of how, how you start the game, how you start your accounts, proper ways to level, to go from beginning to about throne room six, level six. Let me test the sound. Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna have to turn the sounds off, it was too loud. Um, so anyway, I recorded that entire video, and it turns out that something didn't save, and the entire thing was lost. So uh, I'm gonna have to do it again. So in the in the meantime, until I can get that recreated and ready to go out, um, trying to come up with some content. I am on my TR7 account right now, as you can see, Go Cubs Go, and I have let me do to watch 78 um, spins here. So my plan is we only have one day. I love the one day to spin, spin all these spins on this account and the other two accounts. So my plan tonight will be to go through these 17 spins and see what we can get. And that's pretty much going to be it. Um, just a real uh, brief yeah! discussion on this account. This was the second account that I created after the uh, TR10 um, QC Runner account was not being very successful. I created this one and slowly leveled it, didn't, didn't push too hard on it. And upgraded my account to TR5 and started fighting in the arena. Got some got some wins and some seconds and thirds and then upgraded to TR6 and I ended up starting the third account and got that one going as well. Um, so now I have the, the third account of TR6 and this one at TR7 and then the main QC runner account at TR10. So today we're going to go through the, uh, the TR7 account and we're not really going to review the account, we can do it another time, but we're going to go through the uh, spins for the event and see what we can get. Um, I'm going to have, like I said, I'm going to turn this volume off, that's too loud. Um, I've, <laughs> nobody knows anything about the wheel other than when you're in here and then you step back out, it refreshes the wheel, so we come back in, it should be looking different. Um, I had a couple things I was going to try here with how the, how the wheel looked before you started spinning, that looks good with the dagger showing right up front, plus the unpleasant surprise there as well. Even though I'm sure that has no bearing on anything. And we got three days right there. We got a thousand diamonds. This is a good start. Um, it, it's, it seems like there's people that spin the wheel and spin 100 or 200 spins and get all of nothing or they get a bunch. Um, and I've noticed when I've spun in groups, you know, I don't, I've been, as we've been going, I've been spinning, you know, three, five, up to 10 spins here and there. And I've been noticing like, if you start getting stuff that's somewhat valuable, you keep getting stuff that's somewhat valuable every couple of spins. But if you're getting junk like gray dust and iron and things that's just not useful, iron to me is not useful, um, then you keep getting that. So I've kind of been theorizing of if you start getting that junk, then back out and try it again. So as I'm going through this, that's going to be that's going to be one of my plans. Um, maybe something to it, maybe not. More than likely not, because it is supposed to be all all random. And there's another theory out there that people have mentioned that go within the last two hours of the event and they're going to change the odds of getting some of these things. So you're more likely to get your get your daggers and get your special surprise, unpleasant surprise artifact. Again, nobody knows for sure. I had that happen with one of my accounts, but could have just been a coincidence. I think I tried it in another, another event that didn't work. So anyway, enough about one. Let's, let's get on and see what we can get. <clears throat> Excuse me. A holiday surprise, holiday chest for starters here. Not bad. Maybe we'll get a better item. And I will turn that volume down because that is way too loud. Get, um, this account here. Here, let me actually. I'm gonna, since I got a good box, I'm going to stay here for a moment, and then I'm going to when I step back out, I'll, I'll show you guys something. So we'll have to stick with the volume for now until I step out of here. I apologize for this music being so loud. Some use. We'll come back and look at that later. 
Um, then I'll, I'll step out and refresh the wheel and see if I can make it look a little better. Again, probably nothing to it, but it makes me feel good until that's what I'm going to do. Another hell of a chest. I'm going to roll with the chest here. And as you guys may or may not know, if you hit the open and then you just tap the screen, it automatically comes out. You don't have to go through the animation. It makes that slightly, slightly quicker. Um, Alright, can go on a couple more. If it continues like this, I'm going to. And I'm going to. Oh, there we go. Either one of those are good. I'll take the chest and give me a legendary item here. Let's see what we get. I'll make this one slow. Suspense. I have so many. Uh, actually, that's my other account. Um, yeah, well, maybe. We'll go review all this at the end of the event. Alright, well, we've got some pretty good ones, so we'll stay, stay with this wheel for now. This will be good when I can get my team a little stronger. Oh boy, how about that chest again? Alright. One more spin. There's nothing that I'm backing out and refreshing the wheel. Turn the volume off there. There's a bunch of nothing. That one I don't care anything about. Okay. So, with that, I will come back out. Let's turn off the volume here so I don't have to listen to all that noise. There we go. Deal with some of the stuff that's going on here. Click these. I have premium on this account, so I want to keep my keep my happy face all the way over there, giving me an extra 20% for all my items. Um, okay, well, let's get back in and see if we can find something else good. With no, no sound in this one, so I'll we'll have some pausing moments. You know, there. Hopefully hear me continuously babbling on about nothing important. So there could be some quiet moments in here. I apologize. Uh, premium would be good. Take the tournament tickets. I'll come in handy. I'm going at this pace. This is going to take a long time. So it's a good thing I'm starting this tonight because otherwise I have to go through three accounts worth tomorrow. Green shards, no good. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you this account. This account, I, I took a little different approach. Usually when I'm upgrading my throne rooms. Oh, there we go. Don't have one of those on this account yet. I'll take that. Actually, I might have one. Let me take that back. Um, usually, you know, you upgrade your TR6. The max you can get, oh, I'm getting close. The max you can get is your get your warriors up to your fighters up to is 40, level 40. And then if you upgrade to throne room 70, you can get up to 55. <clears throat> As some people may or may not know, there's a and there's another level in the middle there for your arena fighting. It's called uh, level 47. Um, I'll, I'll go through all that when I give a guide on how to build your, oh man, all right, this is all junk, we're going to back out and go again. You see there's a bunch in a row, again, could just be random, but I don't know, I'm not going to stick with the bad luck that's coming in, so we're going to refresh that wheel and start again. Starting on a sharp joke takers, that's a good start. Um, so there's a way to determine what, what arena area you'll fall in. Oh man, junk again. Um, so this account actually has a, rather than bumping everybody all the way up to 55, which would mean I'd be competing against other people at 55, I'm in a, since I have five fighters, I'm in a five by 47. So that means everybody I'm fighting has an average of a 47 team rather than a 55. Um, that gets me, gets me things in, you know, it gives me an advantage in a couple different ways. All right, joke again, we're going to back out again. Like I said, I'll go over that when we uh, review the arena strategies and goals and how to fight and what, what who you're going to fight and those kinds of things. Oh, come on. I don't want that. Um, so on this account, I have a, a, 50, a level 55, a le two level 50s, a 43, and a 41. Oh, so close. And then we get the junk. Um, well, I mentioned that. I'll just I'll make the point here that there's so many people that get frustrated. They see what's on the screen. I was so close. I almost got it. But in reality, that's not the way it works. That's not, as, a, as a programmer, I know that's not how things are really working. Right this moment, I push this button. I hit spin. It already knows what I'm going to get. So this animation of this wheel spinning is just simply you know something else for you to do while you're waiting time and trying to build suspense. All right. This wheel stinks. I'm getting back out. Now one more time. So, you know, it may show you it's close, but it's not. It's it's pretty black and white. So you, like, here I got the gold. It knew I got the gold right from the beginning. It had nothing to do with almost getting the heroic chest. Right when you push that button right here, I'm getting whatever it determines I'm getting. So the rest of it just is four looks. And you're not almost getting it or almost missing it or whatever. This one, they're actually making it look a little bit more suspenseful than they did in previous ones. So I think a lot more people are getting angry about just missing it or, or whatever the situation is. So... But it's completely irrelevant.
All right, 50 more, 55 more spins, 54. Oops, sorry, don't want a video. We will do videos when we're not in the middle of the video here. There it is, there it is, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, no! So, to my point, there, you know, when I hit that button, I had man right from the beginning, but in my head, I almost had that one. Oh, that would have been so nice. I really need this on this account too. So oh, again, exact same thing. That's just not cool at all. But look how close we are. Right by the premium, right by the unpleasant surprise. So I am staying with this wheel because I'm getting it one of these times. I feel it. It's coming. Let's see. Oh, not this one. I'm going as far away. Next one, maybe. Go again. I might have to step out and uh, I have some, uh, some things to buy with all this cash I'm getting. I might have to go uh, start building something. I'm getting close to the these legendary items here, so I don't wanna I don't wanna back off this wheel yet. Alright, oops, I did not mean to do that. That was a complete waste. Alright, spin again. Alright, once it's time to refresh this wheel again, I'm gonna go uh oh there it is, I got it. Booyah! <laughs> Fantastic. See, that's why I couldn't go away. I needed to get it. See what do we got here? Mind control. Once in a while, a random enemy fighter switches to your side for 1.8 seconds. I've been reading some things, some crazy things. This guy's or this artifact is doing for people where it's 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 a some you know, sometimes it's completely useless and sometimes it's a complete game changer. So it is certainly going to help this account. Fantastic. I will have to share that with everybody in the clan here. All right. Success. Let's keep going. Let's get the other one now. Oh, there it is. There it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man. So close. All right. Well, this is a good night. I was expecting I might have to spend a couple uh, couple gems to try to get some of the stuff I'm looking for. All right. Arena tickets. Those might, those might come in handy now that uh, my team is that much stronger now. Well, we'll do some testing to see how it actually works out. Hopefully, I can get this artifact on all my other accounts. Oh, come on, come on. What, what happens if I get that again? I think it means it's impossible. So that's just when it looks like it was close when you didn't have a chance. But to my point, that's the third time I landed that in the exact same There's another one, fourth time. On this wheel, that exact same spot on this exact layout. So I wonder. The random numbers are like predetermined maybe before. I don't know. Try to figure out things you can't really figure out. It's probably not worth the, worth using the brain power on it. Right. I'm not even looking at these because the chance of me using a rare or uncommon or even a rare item for any of my fighters is pretty low. So that's why for me, for the most part, these these are pretty useless. This is not at all what I'm looking for. So I'm not really spending any time on those. Um, all right, 43 more spins. I was hoping this was going to be a fairly short video, but it takes a while for this animation. So I don't know. The video might be a little bit longer than I was, I was hoping for. Hopefully... Uh, not too boring for everybody here. Let's put it on double speed on the video and then you can uh, watch everything quicker on your side. I keep getting this holiday chest. I'm gonna have to refresh here in a minute and uh, when I step out, I'll show you guys what my, ooh, that actually could be good, potentially. No, I think my, uh, I think my level 50 fighters are archers at the moment, but you know, depending on what, what happens with these spins, if I can get those daggers, that might change what I'll be doing. Uh, Assumptions feast. All right, one more junker. I'm going to back out and refresh again. Oh, we got the artifacts. I'm so happy about that. Another one. Okay, we're done. So let's back out after we get this useless item. Okay, ooh, resurrect. Yeah, there we go. I don't have many resurrects on this one. All right. No, that's actually this account's okay. One of the other accounts is bad. Right, so let's back out. Um, so just real quick while we're here, let's take a look at, at the setup of this team. I'll start over here. So here you go. Like I was saying, so I got a level 50. Oh, another guide I can give you guys, um, is how to have every one of your, uh, people as a five star, because that's for whatever reason, I just want that from the beginning and it's easy. It just takes time as with everything with this game, there's a system to it and it's very simple. Um, and I will give you guys a step, step by step of how to do that yourself. If anybody's interested in that, it's like I said, very simple. So anyway, I got a level 50 here, a level 55, which is currently my my assassin. Um, this team was fairly weak, and I just got this 55 uh, assassin's outfit, which came in very handy. Now I am very much stronger because of it. 
And this will probably be the guy I'll give the artifact to as well. All right, so we got a 41 and then a 43. So if you take all these, average them together, my average comes out to 47.8, I believe. And to determine your group, you basically just truncate that off. So I'm a 47. So if I would go to 48, that means I would jump up to the next level. And there's there's some rules around that for determining what's what. And and you can't span multiple levels. So if this 41 actually dropped down to a 40 and I didn't level them up, then I would have spanned three different arena um, or three different brackets. So that would have put me all up to 55. So there's some rules. We'll, we'll go through those in another guide. But um, as I said, this video is already going to be way too long because of this animation. Um, I could consider just not spending anymore, but at the same time, it's got to be done within the next uh, what, 28 hours. So, all right, we'll just keep going. More holiday chests. This is not what I want. What I want is the daggers. The daggers and then diamonds. Well, I'll take premium too, because premium is very handy. And I am not not spending premium. I don't know if, if you guys know this or not, but the offers that you get that um that you're presented by the game to get you to spend money um the best one in the game currently for the u.s is ten dollars or 9.99 for twenty two thousand gems i did get that on my third account which i decided i wasn't going to play anymore but then i got that offer and i was like oh i guess i'm playing all right let's refresh the wheel um so and my understanding is that offer you get that offer after approximately three months of not buying anything so if, if you're interested in that, make sure you don't buy any of the offers that they give anything, even premium, um, if you want to get that offer presented to you. So you have to say no to everything. They'll even give you some some other deals for diamonds that aren't quite as good. Um, you got to say no to everything until that one comes in and then you take it. And I believe this is all hearsay, all stuff I've heard from other people is you only get it once. So, all right, there's a premium. I'll take it. No, no. I knew better than that. I knew that was a premium. But close to the dagger, so we're going to keep this wheel. All right. More holiday chests. Give me some daggers. Give me some purple shards. Need to get... I didn't... Pro I think a proper way... This is the first time I tried one of these, this 5x47, instead of just automatically going up to 55. I think the proper way to do that leveling is you level, since I knew at the beginning I was going to do a 41, 43, 50, 50, 55, right when I hit 41, I should have tried to get some 41 legendary gear in the arena or wherever. Uh, not the arena, sorry, the portal. All right, come on. And then keep it going. And then once I get to 43, try to get a 43 item, and then same 50. So right now, when if I craft anything, it's going to be crafting close to 55. So... It's a, <clears throat> excuse me, it's only going to immediately help one of my people, so I, I'm going to have a hard time building up anything useful in my 41, 43, my 50s. There's a 70, I'll take that. Especially for this account, I only have, well, now with that, 4,900 gems, not too many. Um, it's, it's better than nothing, of course, but it's not, oh. All right, I would have taken any of those except for that one. Look at that. Diamond, sure. Goblin assistant, sure. Premium, sure. Dagger, sure. Purple, sure. Tournament tickets are okay, too, but that's not what I was looking for. All right, blue shard. Could be worse. Keep going. Let's finish this up. I think I was in the middle of a story, and I forgot what it was. It wasn't important, obviously. All right, more. Keep it going. I, did, I pushed the button so much, or pushed the screen so much that I didn't see what I got. Nothing I wanted. Again, exactly the same as last time. I'm certainly racking up the arena tickets. I think I already have a bunch of this one anyway. Tournament tickets, that's what being called. Sorry, not arena tickets. All right, one more. We're going to refresh again. As we're down to 23 spins. All right, we're getting there. There we go. Mythical chest. Nope. More mana. Oh, I remember what I was going to do. I was going to spend some of that... Yeah, I'm going to back up this wheel. It's nothing special. Um, there we go. I can't. So on, there's there's certain people that give recommendations. I don't know if uh, Lander Surf My Clan is ever going to be watching this or not, but one of his things is never buy more than one builder because you get stuck. If you're going to properly level your account, you're going to be there for so long, you'll have plenty of time to build all this stuff. There's really no hurry. Um, so there's really no need to buy extra builders. Um, I, I had an extra one on this one, but I'm certainly not going to buy another one. Um, anyway, the point I came out is I was going to 
I don't want to be wasting the gold that I keep getting from the wheel, so I was going to go spend it, but I don't have enough yet, so. All right, let's, oops, no video. Let's, let's finish off these last few spins. And by few, I mean 20, of course. Keep it going. Not as fast as possible. I looked at what time the clock was on before I started this video, and I completely forgot what time it was. All right, we're getting close. More gold. I'll take the gold. I need the gold in my TR10 account because you need all that for your gems. And I keep being down to zero, getting down to zero. Got to learn how to talk here. All right. Come on, finish it up. Nope, not interested. Next. Not too many gray shards. That was the biggest complaint of the last time we had this. Everybody got excessive gray shards. Oh, there we go. Give me a legendary. Give me, give me, give me something good here. I will take something good. That is not something good at all, actually. It's pretty much junk. But there's maybe another chance for another epic chest. I'll take it. Keep this wheel. Maybe we'll get another one. Ooh. Throw chest. What do we got? Something, something good, maybe. Maybe an epic. My lower level guys, no, of course not. Oh, what's this? 53 as a midi uh, at the time being, it's no good, but it could could come in useful if I switch up my squad a little bit. All right, I want the daggers. Come on, we're running out of spins. Don't care. Got one more day of spin, so there's still a chance, but highly unlikely, obviously, after this because probably only have like less than 10 spins after this. Too many symmetries, so you still need any more of those. All right. Where are those daggers? Stay away, stay away, now come. Nope. Oh, close. All right, well, let's go a little bit further and either get the 200 or the daggers in this one. I will take it happily. Nope, missed it. Blue shards, not so bad. Can always craft some useful epics. Not on the QC account, but on this account, you can still take some epics. Maybe, actually. The problem is, and that's another thing I was going to show, is most of my fighters have completely legendary items at legendary at level 40. So if I get like a level 45 or 47 of, uh, I thought I turned all that off, of um, non legendary, it just can't compete with the 40. So everything I'm getting is not that great. Ooh, what do we got here? 55 armor, that'll be good if I ever, what I want is the one that actually gives you health back, so. Uh, mm, that could come in handy, but right now my my uh, mages are not that high, so. But that's the problem with everything being a 55 now, so none of this stuff is really helping. Keep getting closer. Although, in this nine more spins, hopefully get just a touch further and I get that dagger. Really would like to get that dagger. We had somebody in one of my other clans who got everything on the first day. He got the dagger, he got the, uh, what's that guy called? The, the artifact, and he got like three skins. All within the first day. Now that's beginner's luck. And I've been going this whole time and getting sumptuous feasts. I can't complain too much. I got the I got the artifact. That's what I'm looking for. I really want to get that on the QC account. That is my ultimate goal. And I will be spending gems if I need to to get to it. I keep getting close to the dagger. I don't want to, I don't want to refresh this wheel again. Probably nothing, but in my head it is, so I'm going to stick with it. Um, hmm, gray shards. I haven't gotten too many of those. All right. One more junk spin, then I'll refresh it for the last last four. There's a junk spin for the gray shards right after I jinx myself. All right. Back out. Last four spins here. Let's see what we get. Clean this up. Keep my guy happy. Topping out, maximizing my resources. All right, last four. Give me those daggers. Nope. Useless pass. Surprised I haven't got anywhere. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No. Got enough damage dealing artifacts or weapons ready for mages. Don't need any more. Nope. Can't believe I haven't gotten any premium. I think I have one day left on this account from last time I got three days. Nope. All right. Two more. No. Come on. All right. This is it. It all comes down to this one. 
And I, this is, I'm not going to be spending gems on this account to get uh, to get the daggers. I already have legendary daggers at level 55, um, so I'm certainly not going to be going for those. All right, well, that'll wrap it up. That's all the spins I have here. I'll you know watch this video and do a couple things over the next 24 hours and get a few more spins in, and it's possible I can get it, but probably not too likely. But the most important thing here is we got that bad boy. Let's go put him on somebody real quick and see what we see how it changes the team. We got 466,000 for the team power, and here is my. There we go. There's my 55. I'll give him. Mason, he's at 108,000 power, and he goes up to 145,000. Wowzer. He's looking pretty good. i got to get him a, a, a entire amulet. There we go. Once in a while, a random enemy switches sides. And where does that put us up to 500 about? Yeah, look at that. 503. Fantastic. Nice. This one, this account actually does fairly okay at the 47 level for... Uh, for the arena so if i can build up a little bit more strength i might be able to compete especially with that guy so anyway like i said rambling way too long uh i'm gonna sign off for now hopefully this video records and i don't lose yet another one because this is uh went way longer than i expected um and keep giving dropping hints here and there all over the place of things i'll be i'll be putting on the channel when i get a when i get a moment um but for now i'll be finishing out the the event and all the accounts and, and properly post those so I will talk to you guys soon and